Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to uh, another exclusive video from Pro Wrestling. Give me all my thoughts and opinions on Pro Wrestling promotions and superstars themselves. Well, with that being said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell button for more content. My thoughts and opinions on Monday Night Raw. First and foremost, excuse me. <clears throat> First and foremost, um, the ratings has been dropping increasingly for Monday Night Raw. And this past Raw, the ratings were pretty, pretty low. Raw can be so much better. And it can become an A show slash Abraham once again but how can Raw become what they once were at the top of their game and level if Vince McMahon isn't trying to fix the situation now Monday Night Raw was the main show that I used to watch the most back in the Attitude Era when, when it was called uh, Raw's War you know what I'm saying? And then the attitude, ruthless, I mean, the ruthless aggression era, so on and so forth. The, the freaking invasion of WCW and ECW. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just waking up. Um, Yeah, so watching Monday Night Raw this past Monday made me realize that it's just a waste of fucking time. The only reason why I still kind of watch Monday Night Raw off and on is because Bobby Lashley is one of my favorite African-American superstars on the roster, him and Shelton Benjamin. Um, I'm not into Cedric Alexander too much, but I think they should go ahead and let Shelton Benjamin be next in line as the African-American no perspective to uh, win the WWE Championship, which he has not won yet. He's won every other title but the WWE Championship. I think he should be next in line to face Bobby Lashley down the road. I mean, Shelton Benjamin is a high commodity. He's a great superstar. He's the former world's greatest tag team with Charlie Haas. Some great memorable matches. Kurt Angle took them both under his wing, as I meant to mention last night when I spoke on Charlie Haas. My apologies for that. Um, Shelton Benjamin is one of those dudes who uh, who could bring the ratings up on Monday Night Raw if they just give the man a effing chance to be a bigger star. And then on top of that, they're holding back a lot of other stars that, that they should be building up as well, man. I think I think though Shelton Benjamin is a veteran of WWE, I still think they should give him a major push like they did Bobby Lashley since he came back. Because when Bobby Lashley first started WWE a few years ago, he was <laughs> he was not on fire like he is now. I mean he he oh man, what's the word? He just got played pretty bad with the company, you know, and he just wound up leaving WWE a few years later. Wound up getting much better when he signed with Impact. Became two time, two or three time TNA World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, I think I think he won the TNA World Title three times. But anyway, Bobby Lashley's doing great. He he's one hell of a great WWE champion. We seen him with his first run. Now he he's get he's gotten a second chance. Excuse me, sorry about the yawning, y'all. He's give, been given a second chance to hold the WWE title. Of course, they already said that they was gonna eventually put the WWE Championship title around Bobby Lashley's waist again. Same thing they said with Drew McIntyre. They had big plans for him before his neck situation happened. But now that Drew McIntyre is back, Drew McIntyre gets a chance to redeem his career and, and himself and revive his career to become Universal Champion. 
So, with that being said, man, like, comment, subscribe, man. Raw needs to pick them ratings up, man, because if Raw doesn't pick the ratings up, you know, Raw, Raw's just going to go further down the rabbit hole, man. It's, it's just going to go bad. It's going to go from bad to worse. The ratings could be a lot better if Vince just, you know, bring in some of these NST 2.0 superstars and and help build them into mega stars, man. Look at look at uh look at the Steiner brother uh son, man. I for, damn, I forgot Rick Steiner, yeah, that's it. Look at Rick Steiner's son, man. He's a hot commodity on NST two point right now. He's doing big things right now, man. Him and Escobar. Both of them guys gonna be wind up called up to the main rosters sooner than we think, man. And then we have uh we have uh Dwayne the Rock Johnson's daughter, Simone Johnson. She sustained a couple of injuries, minor injuries doing her training and stuff like that, man. But she's doing pretty good. They said she has she has been getting better. <sighs> And improving more. So that is a good thing. She's uh she should be getting called up to NST two point or they may want to put putting her on the main roster. I think they should put her on NST two point even though I hate the new design and look of it. I hate the new the new vibe about it. Cause right now NST two point sucks. But the fact of the matter is it's starting to kind of look up a little bit, so uh, it don't suck too bad. However, Simone Johnson, she looks just like her daddy up and down. She is Dwayne Johnson's daughter, up and down, y'all. And word is, she's been doing really fucking good doing her training at the Performance Center. So, um, who else? Uh, Cedric, in the, Cedric um, I almost said the entertainer, <laughs> Cedric Alexander. He's a great superstar, don't get me wrong, but he belongs in the Indies, not WWE. Second of all, I think he'll be better off just leaving WWE and going to Impact Wrestling. But if Vince was giving Cedric Alexander a fucking push, a mid-card push at least, you know, the mid-card level talent will be on fire right now, man. I mean, Damian Priest is a hell of a United States champion right now. He's doing really good. You know, though AJ Styles beat him and defeated him clean this past Monday night. Look like AJ Styles may be finally winning the United States championship title for the first time. Well, actually, I think the second time in his WWE career. Um, and, and, and the best part about it is AJ Styles, they've, they've been treating him really good. I'm glad to see that. Uh, they didn't release AJ Styles like they did some of the other former now release WWE stars that was part of TNA back in the day. I think I think Raw can do so much better if they just build a new stars and give Shelton Benjamin and some of the veterans uh, a major push in between in between uh, bringing in new stars to give them you no know, mobility and stuff to uh, become bigger stars. I think. That the fan us us fans wants to see something different, man. We we want to see something different. We want to see changes, man. But Vince doesn't fucking listen to the fans. He never has for a long time now, man. Vince back in the day used to listen to us fans. You no, know, if we want to see a certain particular match, man, we'll call it out on social media, man. Hell. Vince will make it happen. I don't know what the hell happened to Vince McMahon besides him getting old. His brain probably got wrinkled. Monday Night Raw is a shithole. <sighs> man. I, I don't never understand why the fuck they split the brands up again, man. It don't make no sense to me. I think... I think that... uh, I think that it'll be a better... Huge amount of storylines if they just... Put the brands back together. And... Take away that ugly ass Universal Championship and bring back the World Heavyweight Championship for the top contenders to you know beat the hell out of each other to see who was gonna be next in line for it. 
Originally, the original plans were for Edge to win the Universal title against Roman Reigns when he first came back. Blah, blah, blah. That didn't happen. And for him to bring back the World Heavyweight title. And Vince is just the type of man that quickly changes his mind even after he come up with great ideals, man. Well, guys, I'm, with that being said, let me, I need to wake up better. I'm, I'm not trying to yawn in y'all ears. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell button for more video content. I'm going to be dropping three more videos today. Um, you never know what I'm going to drop because I, I talk about a lot of different things, man. But lately, I've been on the wrestling thing. So, uh, shout out to all my wrestling supporters, man. And, um... Shout out to uh, my original supporters. Y'all make sure y'all go check out uh, Moments with the Diva. Make sure y'all check out her uh, channel. Make sure y'all go check out my my dude, my 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 homeboy Dome. He got a great he got a great channel with video content and stuff like that, man. Uh, anyway, y'all take it easy. Monday Night Rock, bring y'all ratings up. The only way to do that is to build new stars and give certain veteran stars a push around at the same time, man. Shelton Benjamin deserves a fucking push. It's long overdue for him, man. So, maybe, hopefully, before the man leaves WWE again or retire in WWE, he'll get that damn push. I want to see Shelton Benjamin as WWE champion. Drop your comments below. Let me know what y'all think about the Raw ratings dropping constantly, man. I mean, AEW's beating the fuck out of them right now with the ratings on Raw. SmackDown, right now, SmackDown is doing really fucking good. And they're the superior brand at this point. So, that's pretty much all I had to say about that, man. With that being said, CJ, signing out.